The Supreme Court has set out that the Canadian government must consult in good faith. Yet, our Prime Minister goes ahead and says he's supposed to Northern Gateway Pipeline. So, there's no good faith. These are the words of Richard Sam of the Wet'suwet'en First Nations, a participant in the Northern Gateway Pipeline public engagement process. That final phrase captures just how little trust he had in said process, which is an important consideration because any meaningful engagement requires trust to be at its foundation. Now, trust is a dynamic orientation, and building trust between two strangers can be challenging. Bring together multiple groups of strangers from different cultures to negotiate on something controversial, and you often have a street brawl. This is why we have public engagement processes. However, all things considered, think of how much trust you extend to perfect strangers on a regular basis. For example, those of you that bought a cup of coffee this morning trusted your barista to not spit into it, right? <laughs> now, stay with me on this, please. Let's imagine, using the example of coffee, that First Nations groups, such as the Wet'suwet'en, are the customers. The Canadian government is the coffee shop management, and industry is the barista. What you have is a long and complex history of coffee being spat into. And when saliva is discovered in the coffee, there's often downright denial of any sort of misdeed. A more general thing that's happening recently is an insistence that laws around coffee and saliva mixing are hazy at best. So naturally what you have here is a situation where it's very difficult to build trust. And in order for any, any sort of thing to go ahead, you need a trust-building public engagement process, which adequately is addresses historical issues as well as ongoing concerns. Therefore, using the Northern Gateway Pipeline as a case study, my research will do three things. One, examine the methods used to build trust. Two, critically evaluate their effectiveness. And three, suggest some best practices for future trust-building exercises. Now, Please don't get me wrong. Trust by itself, not necessarily a good thing. However, in the Canadian context, for any sort of resource development project to go ahead, there needs to be active citizen buy-in, and this requires trust. Therefore, I hope through my research to help construct a public engagement process to which participants, such as Richard Sam of the Wet'suwet'en First Nations, can say yes there was good faith between us. Thank you.